Hello everybody, I thought I would uh, give you guys a quick tutorial on uh, what I've been up to. So, two days ago on my birthday, I got this guy, which is a little USB programmable keyboard, which I have uh, hooked up to a USB port. And uh, there's this program called Auto Hotkey. And what this is, is it's um, like a text editor where you can go in and program a script to automatically run on, of course, a certain hotkey. And how I've been automating uh, my, my Obsidian math is with this right here. This is going to be the script. Um, hello? There it is. Yeah, this is going to be the script, and I'm going to have this in the video description, so you guys can have the same thing I have. And it it looks a little intimidating or complicated, but really, I'll show you how this runs in Obsidian. So right now, I have it suspended. First, I'm going to turn on my, um, my programmable keyboard, and the basics of how this works is... Where can I put this where it wouldn't block anything? Uh, I'll put it right there. Okay. So this is really cool. I've got one really, really useful hotkey right here. And this thing arms and disarms the number pad. So right now it's suspended. I use the whole number pad. Everything works fine. You know, bam. Full utility out of the number pad. Then I hit this right here, and now this is armed to do, for, first this one's my favorite, automatically does the dollar sign and puts the cursor back in the middle, so that's what number one does, number two, fraction. This one is being, this one's one of my most used, so I put it first, number three, square root. Again, it's something that you run into fairly often, and I like what I did here. So, the next row is int. This is for the integrals of calculus, and then you're wondering what 5 might be. Well, you're wrong. It's space. Space, actually, because when you're typing something like uh, F or like... F like this, you can space and it, the output's all the same. But if you type F space F space F, all of a sudden you've got that space you were wanting. So I figured I hit space a lot, especially when you have to type out full words. You know, having space there is great. And then D over DX, we finally got to it. So integral. Something else, derivative. I really liked how it's separated. For me, that's just, I, I really enjoy that. And I've got one hidden key that I've bound. And that is this function button up here. I've got it bound to percent. And I type percents all the time for like chemistry and other things and it's a hassle to constantly have to hit like shift 5, shift 5, you know, I can do all the work here on this with just arming and disarming it. It's really useful and then all of a sudden I had to keep taking my hand off so I was like, you know what, ease of use to save me some time. This whole setup is plug and play to your normal, um, your normal number pad on your computer. So I'm not even gonna use this. I'm gonna use my regular number pad. It should be armed. And as you can see, everything works fine. And if I hit F12, secretly, that's the disarming button is F12. So this will work both with one of these guys. And if you don't have that, it will work perfectly fine with your keyboard. Yeah, and F11 is what I bound to percent. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps you with your automation. And if any of you guys didn't catch it, you don't need to buy anything extra to get this to work. This whole script works with your normal keyboard. Um, it's it's super helpful for me. I really wanted to share it with you guys. So have a, have a great day.